Chapter 5 A few weeks earlier. What do you think? How do I look? You look human. Here, let me adjust that for you. Maya straightened out Ellie's clothes. How's the compression? Not sure. Oh, hold on. <coughs> Ellie let out a loud fart. Ugh, that's better. Luckily you can use an excuse. She had lactose intolerance. It would always set her off farting. It's a human thing. Right. That's us two disguised. Now one more to go. One more human to hunt. I think I'm going to enjoy being Ellie. We just need Nicola, and our plan is complete. Her skin is a necessity. With you in the school, and me as Maya working at Cold Fire, we just need to prevent the law getting involved. She is the perfect disguise. Now that you're disguised as Ellie, you must scout her out. With pleasure. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> A few days later, the sly thing disguised as Ellie set out to find Nicola. She hung around her work and then followed her on a lunch break into the shopping center. She watched Nicola work away on her laptop. Ellie, slithing, acted human, deciding to pretend to shop when all of a sudden she bumped into Nicola in the store. Oh, hi. Fancy seeing you here. Still on your holidays? Yes, the kids won't be in for a couple of weeks. How are you? Stressed. I have a big case on and it's causing me a lot of problems, but I will get to the end of it. I'm sure you will. Fancy a catch-up? Me and Maya are thinking of organizing something. Yeah, sure. I gotta go back to job. See you later. Yes. See you later. I have asked her if she's interested in meeting up. She said yes. Excellent. Now we just have to make sure she comes. She's not very big. How will she fit? She'll have to do. Ellie continued to stalk Nicola throughout the day, following her every movement. She followed her to Ruth's house and watched as Nicola went in. She rang Maya. I've lost her. She's gone into some human's house. Make sure she's not on to us. Invite her over tomorrow. We must accelerate our plans. Later that night, Ellie Slithing rang Nicola. Oh, hey, Ellie, how are you? Hey, Nicola, I can't talk long, but would you like to come over tomorrow night? Maya said she's free and can come too. Yeah, sure. I would love that. Great. Oh, this is really random, but what school do you teach at, Ellie? Edgewood Secondary School. Why? Oh, no reason. What time tomorrow? Uh... Okay. I was thinking about 8 p.m.? Yep, that works. After the call, Ellie rang Maya to report back. You were right to accelerate the plans. She was asking about my school. Don't worry. We will have our hunt tomorrow. Soon. She will be no more. Chapter 6 Fast forward a few weeks and two nine feet tall green alien stood in front of Nicola. She was stunned into silence. She dropped her phone and dived between them. She ran through Ellie's house to the front door as she opened in her arm, was dragged back with great force, almost dislocating it. She was then tossed back into the kitchen. What do you want with me? We want you. And we have you. Like we have Ellie and Maya. Goodbye, Nicola. No! Please! Help! With a scream, Nicola was no more. The two other slithing then set about converting her body into a skin suit for their use, crushing her bones, eating her organs until there was just Nicola's skin left. They added a zipper into Nicola's forehead and the skin suit was complete. Right, she's ready to wear. Sister, we have something for you. A third slithing came down the stairs and greeted the two in the kitchen. 
It looked down at Nicola's skin and with a look of glee, it placed its giant foot into Nicola's forehead, followed by the other foot. It then drugged her up its body, the slithine being compressed into Nicola's petite body. The slithing sealed the zip along Nicola's forehead, and, as if like that, Nicola was back. But she wasn't who she was before. Now she was the clothes of a slithing, using her to infiltrate Earth. Ellie and Maya slithings also put on their human disguises. Oh wow, you weren't wrong. She is really, really tight. I feel very restricted in her. Yes, she might not be the best fit, but she's what we need. She's killing me around the legs. I'm already chafing. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's better. I guess I have to get used to a lot more of that being compressed into their petite skin. Yes, you will. And sadly, you won't have an excuse like Ellie and Maya. Oh, great. We've really got to fix the gas exchange. I can't put up with this. You will have to. But with her gone, that's one last thing to worry about. The plan advances. Yes, we've got a sun to turn off. Careful now. We're not at that stage yet. Yes, I've got a court battle to lose. <laughs> and I need to clean up this mess. Soon, the family will be avenged. <laughs> Chapter 7 The next working day, Nicola turned up to court. No one knew of the change that had gone on. The real Nicola eaten by the beast inside her. She walked past the security, like she had always done and applied her red lipstick. She walked into the chambers and was greeted by her colleagues. Hey, Nicola, how was your weekend? It was okay. Didn't do much. I met my old friends. Nice. We have a lot of work to do today. Nicola sat down, and as she did so, she farted. <laughs> It was loud enough for the entire team to look up for a time, distracting from their work. Oh my, my apologies everyone. Now where were we? She got through the working day, her colleagues were grabbing their coats and heading out the door. Nicola stayed behind. You coming, Nicola? We're all going out. No, I've got more work to do. I'll catch up. After Hugh left, Nicola was all alone, with a sinister smile on her face. She started opening up all the paper drawers and throwing the documents onto the floor. She then left the room and headed to the security room. Once in there, she terminated the security guard and disabled the system. She returned to the room with the documents and set all the paperwork alight. It began to burn, spreading around the room rapidly. Nicola made her escape. The blaze spread fast. Nicola made it out of the office just as the emergency services arrived. She smiled with a sense of achievement. A few days after the fire, having all her work being destroyed, the case against cold fire construction fell through, although they tried to argue that sabotage was at play. But as there was little evidence left after the fire, Cold fire constructions, illegal buildings are there to stay. At Edgewood Secondary School, Ellie Slithing started construction part of a loop that would link all cold fire buildings to fulfill the Slithing's master plan of draining the sun. Nicola Slithing was out shopping, just part of pretending to be human. She was browsing the aisles, before she bumped into someone who recognized her. 
Nicola, it's you. I heard what happened at the court and I did some research. I believe cold fire construction is behind it. And I have a feeling there is something extraterrestrial going on. Do I know you? Yes, you've come to my house twice and we have discussed this multiple times. I think you were right, Nicola. It is alien. I don't know what you're on about. Please leave me alone. What's gotten into you? Nicola walked away, passing gas as she did so to put some distance between her and Ruth. She reported back to Maya. I met that woman Nicola had been visiting. Her name is Ruth Smith. I think she's on to us. She's a human. What can she do? Our plan is nearly complete. I have heard from Glunfex Fizzlethine. He has set up at Parkvale School, and I have heard from Marion Mag Thek Fizzlethine. She is ready at Parkside College. And I am Edgewood Secondary School. Soon. We will be avenged. Victory must be naked. Well, ladies, let's go back to mine and get changed. Don't worry. I have taken care of Michael. The three slithing went back to Ellie's house to take off their skin suits and plan for the next phase of their attack on Earth. Their plan successful so far. Their hope that their success continues.